Hey everyone, it's Darren from Dell. Thanks so much for taking the time to tune in. Today we are going to be unboxing the P2724DEB. Now this is a professional P-series display, 27 inch diagonal, 24 from a product gen perspective, D for QHD, so 2560 by 1440 E from a USB Type-C with power delivery up to 90 watts plus built-in Ethernet and B for built-in multimedia. So this is truly a video collaboration display. So once again, the P2724DEB. Let's jump into the unboxing. So we got the box here. Let's go ahead and cut the seal. Sweet. Power cable. Setup instructions, we've got full size display port, USB AB, and a USB type C, warranty, safety, regulatory information. This is the stand, build this in a sec. Go ahead and put the stand together. Clip down. Let's go ahead and tighten the screw. Now, clip into the display, like so, and lift up. Let's clean up the work area. So we got the panel here. You do see that it has a built-in video collaboration device. So that's a 2K QHD camera, pretty sweet. Camera shutter, what we also introduced was tilt capabilities based on feedback from previous gens. So you'll be able to actually customize your viewing angle. Traditionally, these video collaboration displays had the speaker down at the bottom. We actually moved it up top. So you got two five watt uh, speaker options. This is certified for Zoom Teams but just giving you a quick little overview of the panel itself. Flipping it around on the back side just to give you a quick little view of that as well. You'll see we do have the power button over here and then this is the menu options to actually move within it. And then we'll take a look at the ports uh, in just a sec. From a port perspective, you're gonna see your AC adapter HDMI, full-size display port. Beside that is your USB Type-C with 90 watts of power delivery, a daisy chaining display port out, your USB Type-A ports plus the upstream port, and then the Ethernet port over there. And then down in front, you are gonna see a USB Type-A, a headset jack, and your Type-C charging your peripherals right at the, the desk. All right, so we got the display plugged in. I wanted to do a quick demo of Dell Peripheral Manager, uh, which is a software suite that does work with this particular uh, display. Uh, the camera being a, a Sony Starvis sensor in there, 2K QHD, four megapixel camera. You have your two five watt speakers up the top. So let's take a look and, and, and go through that. Um, so different modes that you can apply the camera in, default warm, vibrant, smooth. Um, you're able to set up the AI auto framing if you want it to, to move and, and track you if you're uh, uh, presenting or, or doing any type of video collaboration there. Um, HDR, definitely recommend turning that on depending on your lighting and other areas there. 
Um, and then your proximity sensors. So this does have the intelligence built in. So as I get in front of the device, it's automatically going to wake up. And the minute I turn around and walk away, hey, that uh, system can lock. So you do have some intelligence uh, built in uh, to the, the camera. Uh, again, this is a, a tilt capable sensor uh, in camera. So that's, that's great to see. Um, That's pretty much it from, from this perspective. So just looking at it at another angle, AI auto framing, your uh, color and image settings, HDR, whatnot, uh, presence detection I just talked about, and then capturing, right? If I wanted to use it in uh, full HD, HD, or 2K QHD, you're able to, to toggle the settings accordingly. So over here, we have Dell Display Manager Installed on the host device, you see you're able to adjust brightness settings on the display itself, depending on what you want to have it toggled at. Uh, contrast over here. From an input source perspective, you're able to uh, see how things are connected, USB Type-C, DisplayPort, HDMI, configure hotkeys and things like that. From a color perspective, you can set different color modes, movie, game, warm, cool, custom. Uh, one of the cool things with the panel is it's hard, it's filtering out that harmful blue light. Um, from an easier range perspective, one of my favorite things, you want to chop the screen up into four quadrants. You can go ahead and toggle that if you want to do side by side, or maybe you're comparing three separate documents. You can take a look at that. There's a lot of functionality and, and features there. Uh, you can set a schedule around that, um, how you configure some of the settings there. This does have a built-in USB KVM, so if you are connecting multiple devices to it, you can use the KVM setting there uh, and go through some of the settings on, on how that's set up. From a personalization standpoint, you can set up uh, different hotkeys and things like that. And then from another perspective, we do have sustainability uh, you know, we're laser focused there. Uh, if you looked at the packaging, when I unboxed it, you notice no styrofoam. The bin, the box can go straight in the bin. Uh, from a power nap perspective, you can reduce brightness when the screensaver activities kick off, or you can put the display to sleep when the screensaver activates. So definitely some functionality uh, that you will see there. Uh, you know, and then you can import export. But Dell Display Manager, part of the value add from a, from a Dell Displays perspective, if you don't have it installed on your host device, you're missing out on some of the functionality. So check it out. And I wanted to do a quick test to show you the video conferencing capabilities and what type of quality you'd actually expect from it. So uh, I am coming to you on this particular display. Uh, audio is being transmitted through the speaker up top and then showing you the camera shutter, what typically happens when it's open, when it's closed. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, we talked about the panel itself, talked about the software, the intelligence that's baked into the panel. Take care.